Peppa Pig, read it yourself. Going swimming. Peppa, George, Daddy Pig, <laughs> Mummy Pig, Swimming Pool, Rebecca Rabbit, Watering Can, Richard Rabbit. Peppa and George are at the swimming pool with Mummy and Daddy Pig. Peppa loves swimming. Peppa gets in the swimming pool. George is scared. He will not get in. Here, let me help you, says Daddy. Splash! George gets in the pool. He is not scared. Richard and Rebecca Rabbit are at the swimming pool with Mummy Rabbit. We love swimming, says Rebecca. Try kicking in the water, George. It will help you, says Mummy Pig. George and Richard try kicking in the water. Oops. Try not to splash us, says Daddy Pig. Everybody gets splashed. George and Richard love splashing. Hooray! Look, George and Richard are good at kicking, says Peppa to Rebecca. <laughs> we are good at swimming, says Rebecca. <laughs> Peppa and Rebecca go up and down the pool. Look at us, George, says Peppa. Richard has a watering can. Oh. Oops! He has let it go. <laughs> Daddy Pig swims down to get the watering can. Hooray! Daddy Pig is good at swimming. Wow. Here you go, Richard, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Oops! Richard is splashing Daddy Pig with the watering can. <laughs> Try not to splash me, says Daddy. Everybody loves swimming. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa the Zookeeper <laughs> It was breakfast time and Mummy and Daddy Pig had a big surprise for Peppa. Wow! We're going to the zoo, announced Daddy Pig. You're going to be a zookeeper for the day. <laughs> wow! Wow! cried Peppa. What do zookeepers do? Excellent question, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. That's what we're going there to find out. Hooray! Hooray! cheered Peppa. <coughs> Peppa was so excited that she sang all the way to the zoo. Bing bong bing, bong bing boo, I am going to the zoo. <laughs> when they arrived, Mr. Lion the zookeeper was waiting at the gate. Hello, Peppa, he said. I hear you are helping us today. Yes, cried Peppa. What does a zookeeper do? First, you must put on your important zookeeper's clothes, said Mr. Lion, passing a uniform to Peppa. It was very early, and there were no visitors in the zoo yet. We need to get breakfast ready said Mr. Lion. Can you help me pick some lettuce? Lettuce, said Peppa, for breakfast. Yuck, said George. <laughs> it's the tortoise's favourite, explained Mr. Lion. Wow. Peppa 
And George picked all the lettuce. Oh. Is this enough? asked Peppa. <coughs> there are plenty, said Mr. Lion, looking at the empty lettuce patches. <coughs> Peppa helped Mr. Lion feed the tortoises some lettuce. <coughs> Breakfast with the tortoises was lots of fun. <coughs> They're very hungry, aren't they? said Peppa. They are indeed, said Mr. Lion. Peppa pretended to be a tortoise, moving slowly and munching on a lettuce. Munch, munch, crunch. <laughs> you look just like a tortoise, Peppa, said Daddy Pig, chuckling. <laughs> I love looking after the tortoises said Peppa. But what else does a zookeeper do? I'll show you, said Mr. Lion. We keep everyone happy at the zoo. Mr. Lion took everyone to check on the butterflies. Wow! Do butterflies eat lettuce for breakfast? asked Peppa. Butterflies, get your food and drink. From flowers, said Mr. Giraffe, who looked after the butterflies. Oh. Peppa watched the butterflies slurp from the flowers. Flatter, flatter, slurp, slurp, said Peppa, pretending to be a butterfly. <laughs> George giggled. Slurp! <laughs> <laughs> what else does a zookeeper do? asked Peppa. This is Mr. Crocodile, said Mr. Lion. She's the zookeeper in charge of the penguins. Wow! Hello, Mrs. Crocodile, said Peppa. <coughs> what are you doing? I'm feeding the penguin some fish, replied Mrs. Crocodile. Would you like to help? <coughs> cried Peppa. Yes, please. Peppa and Mrs. Crocodile threw fish to the penguins. The penguins were very good at catching them. Hooray! Waddle, waddle, catch, said Peppa, pretending to be a penguin. <laughs> you look just like a penguin, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. <laughs> Everyone laughed when they saw Peppa waddle, even the penguins. That was amazing, said Peppa. What else does a zookeeper do? Mr. Lion rolled up on the zoo train to collect Peppa and her family. Wow! Kitty! cried George. <laughs> Where are we going now, Mr. Lion? asked Peppa. To check on the tiny creatures, said Mr. Lion. First stop, the Wildwood. How exciting, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Hooray! cheered Peppa and George. I can't see any tiny creatures, said Peppa when they got to the wood. <coughs> Mr. Lion gave Peppa a magnifying glass. It made tiny things look big. Wow! Look, a ladybird, said Peppa. What does it she eat? Smaller insects that she finds in the wild, explained Mr. Lion. So we don't need to feed her breakfast, asked Peppa. No said Mr. Lion. There are lots of things she can eat right here in the wood. After the Wildwood, Mr. Lion drove Peppa and her family all around the zoo. Now everyone's had breakfast, what do we do? asked Peppa. Lunch, said Mr. Lion. It's feeding time, said Peppa. Again? It's always feeding time at the zoo. But what do we feed the tortoises? asked Peppa. There's no more lettuce and it's their favourite. <sighs> we'll have to find something else, said Mr. Lion, frowning. Just then, Peppa had an idea. My granny and grandpa grow lettuce in their garden, said Peppa. We could get some from them. What a wonderful idea, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. That would be fantastic, said Mr. Lion. 
all aboard the zoo train. Next stop, Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Chee-chee, cheered George. <laughs> Peppa and her family hopped on the zoo train with Mr. Lion. They trundled out of the zoo, down the road, and all the way to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Hello, little ones, said Granny and Grandpa Pig, as the zoo train pulled up outside their house. You look very smart, Peppa, said Grandpa Pig. I'm a zookeeper for the day, said Peppa. <laughs> How lovely, said Granny Pig. Peppa explained that the zoo needed Granny and Grandpa Pig's help. Oh. We've run out of lettuce, she said. And the tortoises want some for lunch. <laughs> well, said Grandpa Pig, we can certainly help with that. <laughs> Grandpa Pig took everyone to his vegetable patch and they got picking. Soon they had filled the zoo train with lettuce. Thank you, Granny and Grandpa, said Peppa. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, added Mr. Lion. You're most welcome, said Grandpa Pig. Happy to help. Back at the zoo, the tortoises were very happy with their lovely lettuce lunch. What a fantastic zookeeper you are, Peppa, said Mr. Lion. You've looked after the animals and made them feel safe and happy. Being a zookeeper is fun, said Peppa. <laughs> what do we need to feed next? Us, said Mr. Lion. It's feeding time for zookeepers. Let's wash our hands and have our own lunch. Peppa and her family sat with the other zookeepers. Fancy some lettuce for lunch, Peppa? asked Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, please, Daddy, said Peppa. I love being a zookeeper because it's always feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Peppa loves being a zookeeper. Hooray! Everyone loves being a zookeeper. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.